What's up everybody, it's Carnage yes, and Monday is here and I said on my previous video that I'm gonna roast Marvel Future Fight game accounts on every week in Monday. So what has been given and I am here with another roast video and now without wasting any time let's start with Monday Roast Part 2. The first Marvel Future Fight game account I am gonna roast is Deep Punk 2740 and like always let's check his cards at first. Whoa ho! He has 5 PM cards equipped, 2 of them are fully crafted and he is working on another. We have to see all of his card stats individually to see if there are anything wrong but first let's see his overall card stats. He has good amount of ignore defense and cooldown which is good, 57% all attack but I expected more, 42% energy attack and physical attack. Um, I know energy attack is the thing we need most of the time but I think you should work on your cards to get physical attack too. Now let's check his individual card stats one by one. At first we have Loki number 2, good card for beginners but after few months of play this card gonna lose its value because it doesn't have all attack on its fixed stat and you can't roll both attacks at same time on this card. So personally I don't like this card, it's good to see that you didn't work on it instead you have chosen other cards for crafting which is really good move. Then we have Collect 7 Luna Snow card. I will say this is the best card for PvE in the game. You have 2% pierce with blue energy attack which is good. If the card had lower quality than 7 then I would say that roll it until you get energy attack proc or physical attack but after saying the quality I would say keep it. But if you can try to craft combine it to get 5% pierce. After that we have uh, Guardians of the Galaxy card with quality 6, 4 blue stars with blue all attack, another card that can give you 5% pierce. I can see you are lucky on crafting cards which is really good for your game. I wish I had your luck for just once. But I know I can't have that which is why we say it is what it is. After that we have the cable card with 6 quality and energy attack. I can see you are working on this card. 4 star crafted, 3 of them are blue which is why I said you are lucky. And at last we have the crescent card. I don't like this card because it has all defense on fixed stat. Which is for me a waste of fixed stats. But the good thing is you are not working on it. So after saying your card setup I must say you are on right path. But for me you are missing physical attack which can be fixed easily. If you want to get perfect card setup then all you have to do is change both Loki and Crescent card with Black Panther on 6-6 six, six and Baby Spidey. Keep that on your mind that you should roll double attack on your random stairs on both cards. After that just grab those two premium cards. I know you are lucky and will get good things so keep doing your things. Now let's see his character roster. Well at the moment he has 12 type 3 and 5 transcended characters. Number 1 is Odin with an oblex. You need the rage if you want to get full of Odin. Then you have Dr. Strange. Same things goes for him also because he also need rage. Without that you can't spam his skills and get all the damage. Then we have Cyclops. He is a support character and he has an insight which is really really good. Then we have Hulk with regen, again good but I am not a PvP player so I don't know about it. After that we have Sharon Rogers with CDP of energy, good choice. Iron Man with 140% proc, at least give him a 200% proc oblix because that will do all the work. Then we have Starlord for the epic quest, Black Widow with 200% proc, okay. Blue Marvel with City View of Regeneration. Okay, it's a good one. Then we have Loki with the Rage. Good choice. He is the best character for ABX right now. Thor with City View of Judgment. I think you should build Human Torch or Rogue because Thor is not that good. And at last we have Sentry with Mighty City View of Authority good one you sh you have to build him max out you have to max out his build as soon as possible then we have better able with ctp of energy he he actually doesn't need any ctp because he can do everything with a 200% proc oblix then we have iron fist with ctp of destruction uh it's okay because it will work as a oblix 
because of this penetration doesn't work on PV PVE type of characters after that we have Moon Knight without his newest uniform or an Oblix okay then we have Valkyrie Valkyrie need a race to perform well and at last we have Human Torch with City View of Judgment which is really really good this is a character and Overall, I will say you are doing great, but right now you should work on Falcon and War Machine because this can be this characters can be played with an Oblix and gonna clear some higher level content. So that's what I have to say about your account. Now let me move on to the next account that I'm gonna roast. The next account I'm gonna see is Bruce Kasan Lee. At first, let's see his card setup. His card set is fully packed with premium cards and I don't know why but I think his overall card stats gonna be really really good. So let's see his card stats. So as you guys can see he has 37% cooldown, 29% ignore defense, he has total of 75% physical attack and hooping 118% energy attack in total which is really good again i can see lack of physical attack on cards i don't know why people not give that much importance to it on the first account i didn't see any physical attack on random stats and after seeing this account on this account's overall stats i can say that i'm going to see it again and to confirm my speculation let's see his individual card stats so at first we have black panther 166 card with quality 4 and both attacks so my speculation is proven wrong on his first card honestly i am happy to see both attacks on this card because i am a type of player who thinks that we need both energy attack and physical attack to progress in the game because in this game we see meta shifting in every month or two and who knows which character gonna be next meta that's why i give importance to both attacks moving on to your bp card it's fully crafted and you got four blue stars with blue energy attack which is good I would say keep this card like this for now and work on other card and after finishing your work on other cards try to roll all blue stars with all attack on this card. At number 2 we have Luna card with 6 quality and energy attack proc. This is fully crafted with 2% pierce and energy attack. You got lucky on its roll and I think you should keep it as it is. After that we have the cable card which is quality 5 with energy attack on random stats. This card has 5 blue stars crafted but there is a problem. I know I said that everyone should give equal importance to physical attack as much as they give it to energy attack but on the crafted stats you should aim for all attack or energy attack otherwise it seems blur. I know it's a valuable stat and can be kept for now but for the long run you should roll it. Then we have Guardians of the Galaxy quality 4 card with double attack on random stats. This card has 2 blue stars and red energy attack on crafted stats. For me this is the card which you should work on now because you are gonna need that 2% pierce at least from this card with blue attack stat. And at last we have the crescent card which you need to replace with baby spidey card. I am not gonna see its stat because it's a trash card for me. But if you can replace this card with baby spidey then you are gonna have the best pve card setup on the game. Now let's just see his character roster. So he has 21 tier 3 and 14 transcended characters till now. First one is Mephisto with CTP of Judgment. This is a great choice and I think he has 1, 2, 3 Origin Blessings on him. Good one. After that we have Null with an Oblix. Good choice. Right now he can do only WBL or WBU. Without that, he is not useful. Then we have Sentry with Mighty City of Regeneration. Nice one. Proxima Midnight as support character for WBL and ABX. Then we have Scarlet Witch with City of Rage. An ABX and WBL character. Good. Silver Surfer for PvP with City of Greed. I don't know how much good silver surfer is city view upgrade but it's okay then we have cable here is the problem this cable uniform can do things with city view of rage and i don't think he is good with an proc oblix or city view of energy i don't use this one because i i have this summer days uniform so yeah if you want to get 
everything from this uniform you need a rage then we have mr fantastic with two one 180 percent proc sorry good one deadpool 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 needs the rework badly this character is in downfall because everyone is focusing on wbl so if he can get a new uniform with more damage and accumulation then it will be good for him after that we have cyclops he is a support character then we have hulk after that we have venom with 160 percent oblics brother you should give him a 200 percent oblics because this characters this proc friendly characters seriously need 200 percent oblics without that they can't do anything after that we have captain america he is getting a new uniform Sharon Rogers with CTP of Energy, great choice. Iron Man with 200% proc, good one. Star Lord for Epic Quest, I know. Black Widow. Luna Snow with newest uniform. And CTP of Rage. You are an ABX player, I can see. Captain Marvel with Destruction. Ghost Rider has no CTP. Loki has CTP of Rage. This is the best character for ABX right now in the game. So yeah, he deserves CTP of Rage. Then we are moving on to the transcended characters. Corvus Glaive with 200% proc oblics. Super Giant with CTP of Judgment. Great one. Moon Knight with CTP of Energy. Nice. Human Torch needs CTP of Judgment. Moonstone has CTP of Mighty, I think. Mighty CTP of Energy, okay. Red Skull, okay. Medusa, Destruction, I don't. And lastly, we have Shadow Shell. I don't know it's a coincidence or not, but all of the accounts I have seen or roast on my channel doesn't have Falcon Tab 3. And every time at the last moment I gave them same advice to build Falcon. So for you brother is the same. Advance Falcon to that 3 and buy his newest uniform. Trust me, you will not regret. So that's it for today's roast video. Part 3 gonna come on next week. So if you want me to roast or see your account, then comment down below your IGN with hashtag roast my account. Till then be safe and have fun.